Hey everybody, MUHerd37 here, and I want to do a quick tutorial on Flight Sim Commander. It's a great program for uh, making routes for your flights and everything, and uh, so I thought I'd go through it a little bit. I've been using it for a long time, never actually done a video on it or anything, so I'll go ahead and uh, show you this. Now when you when you first start up, you'll actually uh, type in the airport you want to go to. Uh, in this case, I'm at uh, KDFW, that is Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, now on to the left, you'll see uh, you've got your uh, buttons to zoom out, zoom in, AI traffic. Uh, this is the map button. It doesn't really do anything except change the color. Uh, MSA, that's minimum safe altitude. You'll see it puts on the numbers for the safe altitude. Uh, airspace, one, two, airspace, one. Uh, control zone, the frequencies for the NDBs and VORs. You turn those on and off. Uh, the names like that. A little too crowded with some of this stuff on here. The ICAL codes, uh, low altitude airways, the high altitude airways, uh, user waypoints if you put those on there, uh, the GPS fixes, uh, intersections, the ILS frequencies and stuff, are showing you the approaches, NDBs, your VORs, and your airports. Stuff like that. Now, there's two versions. There's a free version and a paid version. I use the paid version. I think really the only difference is uh, the free version you can only keep up for like a half an hour and you cannot save flight plans. But that's not too bad. Actually, let's do a flight plan right here. We're going to go do KDFW uh, Dallas to Cincinnati, which is KCVG. Now this gives you a, just a straight line, obviously. So one thing you want to do, come down to go to weather, download the weather. And this will give you some information. If you'll notice here, you've got your wind direction. Obviously you want to take off and land into the wind. But also you can see like it's sunny, things like that. And I know if we go out west, I was just checking. Let me zoom this out a little bit. You'll see like clouds and stuff like that, stormy weather, stuff like that. Uh, one thing that I actually don't like about this program is how you have to navigate around. There's no, you can't go to the side, stuff like that. You all do it all by clicking, and it's actually gets rather annoying. But that's it's not a huge problem. And I'll show you. Get this up here. You can hover over to the airport, and you can see some information. Let's see if I can get it a little more to the bottom. You see, trying to get as much as I can show you. There we go. So it'll show you a bunch of airport information, stuff like that, all the different runways, uh, the ILS frequencies, uh, tower frequencies, ground, all that good stuff. And then you can see down at the bottom, and also at the very bottom, you'll see temperature 31 degrees, dew point 15, and then gives you the pressures. To be quite honest with you, I don't think the temperatures and pressures on this program are accurate because I can check it with uh, some better uh, places like government uh, websites and stuff like that, and they always vary from this, and I don't think that that's really that accurate on this program. That would be one of the drawbacks. But it's really great how, how you can do flight plans. The best way to, to do is uh, Route Finder, which is uh, if... A lot of you probably know is a website, and they have this version on here. We'll do KF, KDFW, and KCVG. Uh, you can put all your altitude, stuff like that, uh, the cycle, the different AREX cycles. Uh, they go way back. This is the newest one. And we'll go ahead and find our route. All right, so this is all your information. What you really need is this, KDFW, then you're going to choose your SID, then you'll go to LIT, uh, that's a waypoint, then you'll go to take the J131 airway to PXV, then your star to uh, Cincinnati. So highlight the first, your SID, all that, all the way to the star, copy that, and come up here and drop that in. Then you can actually close this. Now you need to come up here to SID and we'll select. Now we know that the wind is going to the north, so we need to take off to the south. Now you can 
hover over that uh, choose your airways, all that good stuff. Or sorry, choose your airways, choose your runways, and everything. And I've got 17 center. Now, when you click on this, you'll see all these things. You'll your SIDs and everything pop up, so you can see what direction they're going. All that good stuff. And the one I noticed that we need is the Triton one. Well, with the loose transition, you'll see that comes out here and ends right here, a little south of our uh, of our route. So we'll go ahead and add that to the plan. You'll notice it puts it up here in your SID and your star, which is actually pretty useful. Move that down to 33,000, although it doesn't totally matter. Now you'll see here we end up at loose and go uh, to, I believe that's Little Rock. Now some people may not like th how it goes like that. Maybe you want to stay on the uh, uh, airways. So we can go down here to loose. It's our last waypoint. And you click the last one that you want to go to. Uh, and then we can come over here, go over to this intersection. And it takes us straight up there and we stay on an airway. Now we can go up to PXV, that's our last waypoint, and we can choose our star. We'll go over to select that. Now if we look at Cincinnati, we can see that the uh, wind is going to the east, so we want to land to the south, and that is runway 27. I don't know if I can hover over that and show it to you. Hover over it, yeah, you can't really see it, but that is runway 27. There is a compass, if you can see these faint blue lines 27 here 265 kind of hard to maybe hard for you all to see that but there is a compass on here and on the these stars is any runway uh, so we're gonna go on runway 27 and we're go, going to use sargo 3.pxv as you can see pxv is our last waypoint so it ends up actually being pretty good now PXV is the last waypoint and is also the first waypoint on this. So I just go to the last waypoint and delete that. Because if you go on to the sit or the star, either way, uh, if you try to delete one point, it deletes the entire thing. So you don't want to do it that way. And you'll notice that we come up here. And this is our star. Now, it may not look like that's the best way to come into the runway, but I'll show you this. You have this approach button which shows you the routes. And you can actually click through these for the different runways. So if you were going to land on, what is that, uh, runway 9. Coming in from the north, shows you all the routes, and that, that would be the one we would use for runway 27. So you can see that it actually does pretty good. And that is the easiest way to make a route with Flight Sim Commander. Uh, it's a really great program. Uh, I do recommend buying it. It's worth every penny. And uh, you can save it if you have the paid version. Now, you've can got different ways to save it, uh, different uh, companies from aircraft. Uh, obviously, you want to save as FS Commander, Radar Contact, Squawk Box, IVAO, FSN, XML, Google Earth, iFly, PMDG, Level D, Project Magenta, Quality Wings, Airbus X Extended Version, and X-Plane, and your uh, FSX. Now... If you click like PMDG, uh, when you want to save this, it'll ask you about the, if it's, you're using the NGX, you have to answer no to the stars and uh, uh, all, all the citizens of the stars. Quite honestly, I always delete the citizens of the stars. I, you've got it right here, your information. So I just write that down and then I actually just go in and I delete the citizens of the star. It's the easiest way, even for any plane really. Well, the PMDG mainly, and then I would actually go and save it as the PMDG. Uh, it's just the easiest way. Then you can enter your, this uh, into your FMC, and then just select, go to the, your departure and arrival, uh, click that, and select your runways that you're going to be taking off and landing on, and do your sit and star that way. It's the easiest way, because I know the MD-11 and the 747, sometimes I would have problems uh, importing it with the sit and the star, and would you get a little awkward. Uh, so I think that's the best way to just delete them and then just, enter them through your FMC. Now, you'll see that you can save it as quality wings. However, you cannot actually save it like this and then uh, use it on the, the quality wings planes like the 757. And I'm actually going to make a video. I'll put the link in the description of a tutorial of how to save this like this and then go and uh, 
actually redo it in FSX in the flight planner and then save it and you can do it that way. So I'll put a link in the description to that video. But that about wraps it up for this video. It's Flight Sim Commander, uh, FS Commander, sometimes we call it. Uh, it's a great program, worth every penny. I'll put a link to the description in, uh, in the uh, comments, or sorry, in the description, and uh, to their website. So that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Give it a try, and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode.